During the first half of the 19th century, Johnny Appleseed walked back and forth across Ohio and Indiana mostly. He went to in Illinois briefly. Some say that he actually met Lincoln. 30 or 40 years he went up and down giving them the apple seeds until he finally died. I don't know the details, oh, but tens of thousands of people knew him and loved him. He was known to make his own dugout canoe and go up and down the Ohio River. He's my hero. This building with a tree growing out of the roof, believe it or not, used to be a diner. 11 feet wide, 44 feet long, and it served coffee to people waiting for the ferry. But the ferry closed and the diner was slowly rotting away seven years later, and we'd started a Clearwater Club. It's called the Beacon Sloop Club. And we have gradually added to it and added to it and added to it. The regular meeting is over. It's about 8.30. And the song circle will begin as soon as the food is cleared off the food table. People take your plates home. And somebody with a long microphone cable may go over and have some Somebody lead a song from here, and then they'll take that long microphone table. And somebody over here leads a song, or somebody over there, or somebody yeah, here. At age 93, my memory is more than half gone. And uh, I used to know two or three hundred songs by heart. Now I'm lucky if I can remember three or four. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Um, I'm glad we can pull this off. I guess again, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah we, we talked spoke briefly. A couple times. Yeah. At the at the at the film festival, at the Woodstock Film Festival, where it was like in this uh kind of conveyor belt of filmmakers <laughs> but and i hadn't seen it the first time i talked to you but the good news is i i definitely i saw it down by the riverside and i enjoyed it very much um it was a treat so can you guys i don't know like since there's both two of you you can kind of duke it out like who wants to begin talking about this project but it's essentially follows the story of Pete Seeger and company, their mission to clean up the Hudson River, which, I mean, I can see it from my, I have to step outside, technically, I can't see it from my window, but it's right over there, just about a five-minute walk, if that, down the road here, the Hudson River, which is hard to imagine that only about 30 years ago, what would you say, Mike, I don't know, what year... It got, but it, maybe 25 years ago, it was finally at the point where I think it was kind of cleaned up, but it was like a sewer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. So, and yeah, it was, um, and it was largely thanks to Pete and these Pete folks and the whole Clearwater project, um, which was a really just a brilliant idea. And, and this documentary you guys made and collaborated on uh, really, it follows the whole story soup to nuts yeah so let's start there what's that jody yeah no thank you so much for uh your kind words about about the film as well it's as you can probably tell it was very much a labor of love um you know we worked on it for 
over 10 years. Um, and, you know, um, when we first started it, we, we had an intuition that, you know, magic was happening, but we didn't really know what our story was going to be. And so we just embedded ourselves. Right. Um, and we were, we were really embedded, uh, minimal equipment. Also, we were sort of embedded into the environmental zeitgeist. We were biking everywhere. So, um, and oh, very good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we captured hundreds of hours of footage and, uh, so we didn't know where we were going. We didn't know the stakes of the film as we were making it. And, and the stakes became incredibly high when we realized, you know, we were really preserving history. Yeah, right. Um, and, you know, when you started the project, Pete Seeger was alive. Um, was he participating, would you say, in the... I mean, it seems as though he was, but it, it's hard to yeah. tell. So there is definitely first-hand footage that you guys got with, with Pete in his last, I guess, couple of years. He was uh, participating really up, I would say up until the very end. Right. Uh, honestly, our, our first day of filming was on his 93rd birthday. <laughs> and, uh, and he was just everywhere doing everything. And we were, I mean, yeah, we were filming with him. He, so he passed away in January of 2014 and we were filming with him up up through the fall and he was out and about doing doing everything so yeah he was in the in the thick of it oh so how many how many years did you get him then where he was around and he could um be present in the film uh, a year and a half i guess i would say mm -hmm. right okay. something something like that um mm -hmm. yeah uh what what did he like what was his did he have uh i don't know like some some uh advice or some some feedback for you guys in terms of making the film and what he envisioned for it and yes he did <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, uh, we, we, we have a whole story i mean jody do you want to yeah. tell it it's well we can kind of go back and forth and tell sure. it so i can set it up we were um up in the attic and we were going through archives and uh you know we were taking pictures of you know newspaper clippings and collecting old old photographs and uh he basically called us downstairs correct he, yeah he he did um so we, we were over at, at the seeger homestead uh, a fair amount uh, d during filming and everything. And yeah, we were over there, like Jody said, going through all the, you know, archives and whatnot. And yeah. Pete, Pete comes upstairs and he goes, you know, you know, uh, Toshi and I would like to speak with you. And of course, you know, we, yes. So we, we, you know, I'm a little busy, <laughs> send me an email, <laughs> copy Jody, and we'll see, we'll try to figure it out. So of course we, we head downstairs and, uh, and Toshi is sitting in the, living room and, and Pete is, uh, is standing and, uh, and Pete, you know, is nine feet tall and, uh, and we're, we're standing there with, with him. And as we're about to sit, I believe he, he looks at us, uh, I would say almost very seriously. And, uh, let me see if I can get the exact words he said to us. So something like, uh, what was it? Power, <laughs> the power. Yeah, well, your film will depend entirely upon its artistic merit. Yeah, Is that, the quote? that, that was it. Yeah, the, the, the power, power of your film will be. Is, I think it's will be entirely, will be entirely dependent, dependent on uh, its artistic merit. And then he just kind of looks at us, <laughs> and we kind of look at each other, and then he smiles and he goes, "Sit down." <laughs> <laughs> so we sat and had an absolutely lovely conversation with with Pete and Toshi. Um, but I, I, that echoed in our minds, um, for the years it, it took us to, to make the film and, and, and I, and we, we've discussed this a lot. I mean, I think that that's reflective of what the Clearwater is, is that, you know, they, they didn't just set out to get people together to kind of clean up the river. It's no, this is a work of art. Um, the Clearwater itself is a work of art. The, the music that is performed from it is is beautiful. There, there's always a sense of artistry to to the whole movement. And uh, and that was something that 
he made it clear that we have to try to do in making yeah. that film. And I would just add to that, um, the same went for the Hudson River Revival Music Festival for all those years. And that was really Toshi's vision. And she, um, you know, we talk a little bit about this in the film, but the kind of artistry that she she put into that festival, even just with the hand cut flowers that were were um, displayed and, and the signs and, and things like that. So yeah, the hand painted signs, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, it, it almost, I don't know why I, I kind of almost feel like he kind of maybe had a sense he might not see it, the, the film in its final, you know, uh, and, version or rather you know the results of the film but it's um you know he left his imprint on it and uh i can see what you mean it does have this beautiful because it's so much more beautiful uh archive you know um it really really is an astounding an astounding document you know and it's so important to the new history of new york and that tra yeah. the tradition of the of the chanting of the work song and the you know all that type of music that was that these people obviously um really you know not only adored but were inspired by yeah it, feel, it feels like that um so and you uh so anyhow the, the, this is the story of of this sloop that they built and that ended up being a real symbol of uh of 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 a an aspect of the environmental movement. Yeah, it, it really, you know, I think the environmental movement was in its just beginning, yeah. beginning the stages. Modern environmental, yeah. It, absolutely. Yeah. And um I I think that the the clear water certainly became a very important symbol yeah. uh for for it. Um and and certainly played it played a part in, you know, getting the Clean Water Act passed and uh, you know, was it's a part of environmental history. Sure. And it didn't the first Earth Day take place? Yeah, they took the boat down uh for the first for the first Earth Day, yeah. Hmm. It's fantastic. Um the name of the film is called Down by the Riverside. How did you come up with that title? That's the question. Um and um uh it premiered where was the uh, world premiere? Woodstock Film Festival. Woodstock Film Festival, very good. I'm just confirming. And uh, yeah, I see you've had a chance to play it at a bunch of festivals. What uh, for those? I mean, for Woodstock, you're, it's like a natural. You've got the audience right there. Many people probably knew that were at the premiere or for one of the screenings. You know, might have been very, very aware of that when all this was happening. And of course, the uh, Clearwater. This has been docked by in Kingston. Um, in the last, I don't know if it's there. Is it there now? At I'm the sure. moment, it's so it, it has its home port in Kingston, right at the Maritime oh, Museum. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. um, but it's you know right, right about now. Out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right around out. Um, but it's uh, it, you know, the the headquarters is in Beacon, um, right. so it's there quite a bit. It's all which, up and down the which is where the Seegers lived, right? Yes, yeah. where their home base was, um, and it's played at a bunch of festivals. What what is the um, the current status of it of, of your film it's still on the festival circuit yeah it is okay yeah. do you have anything s scheduled that's coming up uh yes we do um coming up on june 1st at 9 15 a.m oh my uh, at the triplex three cinema it will be part of the berkshire international what? Film festival is that true what day is that it's, it's a saturday june 1st okay and that's 9.15 a.m. at Triplex 3 in uh, in Great Barrington. And we are thrilled. Um, it's just yeah. it's an absolutely beautiful festival. We're, we're really honored to be a part of it. And uh, we're thrilled to share the film and to, to have a Massachusetts uh, premiere for, for the film. Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to be around the festival myself. Um, and it's which is not too far from here, actually. And um, I'm really looking forward to hopefully running into you guys there um for our little sequel you know <laughs> um and uh i'm just curious to know what you think the audience what, what is the audience response at those festivals you're at sedona I, I took a do, with those that don't have a relationship with the hudson river who don't have a relationship with the hudson river you know and and upstate new york what have you 
So what has the audience? Yeah, like what is is there? Yeah, are people connecting to that story? Are they familiar with the story? What's the? Yeah, I mean, I will say that the 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 most excited base is definitely the the you know Pete Seeger fan base, and when we um when we screened at in Athens, we we had a really great uh, turnout in Athens, and I was sitting next to. I live in Athens. I don't remember you guys. (laughs) <laughs> this was the uh, this is Athens, uh, Ohio, at the Athens uh, International oh, wow. uh, Film yeah, and Video right. Festival. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I was next to um, a, a Pete Seeger fan who was singing along with all of the songs. Nice. He was so invested. He didn't know that I was one of the directors. So. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So when it was done and they introduced us, he was just thank you. He was he was the it was the best experience to be that right. close. That's what you want. That's what you hope. Yeah. To. That's why you're yeah. making the film, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah. we have had that um, where we're at different points in the film. People uh, they they sing along, they they laugh, they cry. Yeah. Um. It's it's very um. There's a lot of dialogue, I, I guess I'd say, between audience and and the film, which has been amazing to to see. Yeah. It transcends, so people they get it. You know, you don't have to have lived in the Hudson Valley or whatever. You know. Um, I think that's that's great. That's great to hear that yeah. people really connect with the film. I think it'd be funny if somebody sitting next to you seeing you just shush them and see <laughs> see how that goes over afterwards when you're doing your your Q and A. So you got the Berkshires International Film Festival. That's great. That's not too far from uh, you know the Hudson Valley as well. And uh, any any others lined up yet or? As of right now, that's that's our next one, and we're waiting to hear back from uh, from several. Um, but we're just, uh, looking forward to, to that right now. Um, Perfect. yeah. Uh, you know, we've spent a lot of time in Western Massachusetts. Um, so it's exciting to yeah. bring the film, uh, there. So. Yeah. I got my PhD from UMass Amherst. So. Oh, great. Yeah, That's wonderful. Yeah. So we spent a lot of time in, in, in Amherst and around all, all the area. And I also hiked the Appalachian trail quite a bit mm-hmm. and I, I got um, on the bus around Great Barrington. I got off trail right around there and headed back. I, I, I started in New York and then hiked through Connecticut into Massachusetts, got off right. trail around that that area. So it's it's a great, beautiful area. Yeah, and you know, that theater uh, last year on the last, it was supposed to shut down on the last day of the last festival back in, a, yeah. in a, well, I, th- I guess June. I'm not sure what exactly what the dates were. But if last year they thought the triplex was it was done. Wow. They, oh, wow. they were sh- shuttering it. And there was a movement going on during it to try to save it. And, you know, while they really need a ton of help, they are they're doing it. They're making it happen. And, the, you know, thank goodness it's going to be there for 2024. But we can't take it for granted either, you know. Hey, good to know. Yeah, Oops. but they're doing a lot of fundraising events, screenings, and that and you, you know that type of thing. And um, hopefully the festival will help. But you know you can't take a theater like that for granted. There's just very few cinemas in the Berkshires. Yeah, I mean I don't certainly uh, a, a, a one that plays films like or that would play host to a uh, festival. You know, yeah. like the Triplex. So that's great. Um, and uh, then I I assume while you're doing this, you're also doing the work of of st- seeking distribution and how that's going to play out. You don't have to go into specifics because I know you probably are a little bit, you know, limited as far as what you can say. Uh, but as how's that going in the general sense? We've we, we've had several people reach out um, mm-hmm. and ask for you know screeners of the film, and we've been in dialogue with them, and and we're. I guess I would just stay still in that dialogue with them. We're still figuring that out. Right. So we're we're hoping um, that, you know, come not to give a date, but I don't know, we're maybe fall or so, um, we would end the festival run and, and see what the next uh, steps um, are. I think I see, well, certainly I, I could see you getting a theatrical up this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, or a variation on a theatrical anyway, well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's what we would love. And I think it, uh, quite frankly, I think it lends itself, uh, not that I'm the first to think of this in our trio here, but I I would imagine this would make a great broadcast. It's Mm -hmm. the kind of thing that any number of public television um, uh, stations would probably really, really love to play. 
that's exactly for the their audience i i would say so i'm sure that will i'm pretty sure that'll work out for you guys that's my i'm pr making a prediction today you heard it here <laughs> well thank you we we certainly we certainly hope it does we, we would just love to be able to share this story honestly because it's it's just an amazing community um where we feel very fortunate to have been able to tell this this story and just to share it as far and wide as possible would be uh incredible yeah well i really appreciate you're making the time and i'm so glad this worked out um we will let's have a reunion ourselves when you do have an announcement to make i'd love to have you guys back on yeah that sounds yeah. great absolutely right. that's great okay all right well have a wonderful evening on a what, Tuesday night here, and um, I'm sure it's already 120 degrees in New Orleans, but it's terrible. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it is. Oh my goodness! All right. Well, <laughs> keep cool. <laughs> and you. and I I'm looking forward to hearing more about down by the riverside at the Berkshires uh, International Film Festival, um, May no June 1st. What did you say? June yep, 1st. Sat Saturday, Saturday morning. June 1st at the crack of dawn, 9:15. It's the best time to see a movie, by the way. It's the best it time. Is. People just don't know because, oh, I got to get my coffee. And then bring a coffee and go see you down by the riverside at the Triplex in Great Barrington. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Anytime. Thanks. Thank you, guys. All right. Have a good night. You too. Bye.